so you mentioned wanting to draw superheroes, but your style is very grounded in in reality, uh, specifically uh, the way you approach figures. Um, it, there's a real sense of realism to to how you draw. Uh, where does that come from? It comes from my my sensibilities, my artistic sensibilities. Um, <clears throat> you know, the realer, the, the more real you could you could draw these things, the more the more the sense of actual reality would take place in the on the pages. And I <clears throat> I didn't want to be a, a cartoonist or uh, a caricature kind of artist. I wanted to learn how to draw people. <clears throat> Honestly, that that uh, I would say the Andrew Loomis books. Had a profound effect on on uh, my sense of what I wanted to have my art look like. I saw the uh, Loomis books on it when I was in the fifth grade, and I said, "Boy, this is the greatest stuff I've ever seen." So I just took to it, <clears throat> and and uh, that's just part of you know making the uh, the, the um, <clears throat> walking through life and just you know discovering things that you like, and and <clears throat> when you discover what those things are. You, uh, it becomes, it, it eventually becomes hopefully part of you. And as an artist, it's going to reflect the, the people that you happen to like as, uh, as, as illustrators or just uh, other types of artists. So for those early Nexus books, you handled uh, the pencils, the inks, and I believe the, the letters as well, right? I did, yeah. I was really set on doing all that stuff. The only the only snake came up when <clears throat> when I realized that Baron was getting paid as much for just writing the damn thing <clears throat> as I was drawing, inking, and lettering. <laughs> <clears throat> so we fought about that a little bit. <clears throat> and I, it's funny because I remember the exact place and the exact time when all that stuff took place. It, I have a <clears throat> seemingly photographic type of memory when it comes to those things. Uh, in terms of the way you approach the page, being that you were largely self-taught, were you approaching it the way the the standard industry way? Uh, pencils, blue line pencil on board, and then inking on top of that. Yeah, that's how, uh, and that came about because that was the, that was when you're asking advice for <clears throat> other people that are drawing in the f uh, comic books that are already established in the field. Uh, when you ask for advice, that's what they would tell you. They would always say, um, <clears throat> construct in blue pencil and <clears throat> tighten in a regular HB pencil, and then uh, you're ready to start inking. So I just followed the advice of all these guys that came before me, and I, it's become a habit um, <clears throat> that has stayed with me forever because it works. It's solid. There's, the things you continue to do after decades of being in the field are only things that you know are going to work for you because there's they're so good there's no reason to change them at all 